So here we are guys, 2020 was still in it and the phase of Libra. Libra is the balance point of the year, it's the point of the year and actually in any cycle of creation, whatever we're creating, there comes a point where we need to pause, we need to look at what we're doing. So whether you have set up an organisation, you have started a project, um, once you have created something that is out there expressing itself in the world, there comes a point where there needs to be a pause. And in our annual cycle of things that comes in Libra, um, when we have from the point of the autumn or spring equinox and for the month after, it's kind of the interface between this doing and then this more introspective being. So in any cycle of creation, you have this outward period where we are um, doing things on the outside, it's yang energy, it's solar, it's doing and people see what we are creating. And then we have the yin phase of the year where it's more under the surface or under the ground. You know, when you sow a seed uh, in the spring, it's very quick for it to germinate. Its, um, its growth is exponential, reaching that peak at the summer solstice where the greatest solar gain is. And then when you sow seeds in, in Libra, it has to go underground and it's, it's ruminated on, it's held until the following year where maybe it germinates in the spring, maybe it's slightly earlier to um, show itself than perhaps a spring planted bulb but it takes a um, full six months. And the same is true in this phase. So in Libra, we evaluate what we've done. So if you take a moment to bring into your mind the thing that you've um, been inspired to bring into your life um, this year, you know, the, um, the um, coronavirus um, pandemic <laughs> has really sparked a crisis point in lots of individuals. And the crisis point is really a re-establishment of our own inner truth, what um, impassions us, what brings us joy. And we start to become more aware of the things that are draining us and depleting us, whether it's how we're living, whether it's the relationships we're in, whether it's um, how those relationships are, whether it's what we're working um, in, whether it's how we're, what we're spending our, our time, how we play, what we enjoy. And we've re been really asked this year to reconnect with what we love, what we love to do, what, who we love to be around, um, uh, how we um, like to spend our money even, you know, what we're going to use our resources to do, whether it's time or whether it's um, monetary or you know some other practical exchange which brings us things into our life. So if we review from that point in the spring when we may be getting those ideas when everything contracted in society and in that contraction we have this real um, crunch point and decision making within us and sometimes that can cause some really uncomfortable um, emotions but quite often it allows the mind to um, be able to look at other possibilities other ways of living so in Aries which is the polar opposite of Libra we sowed the seeds in Libra we reap the harvest from the seeds that we were growing we see what worked we see what didn't and when the new moon is in Libra we get a real insight into where we are imbalanced. So the symbol of the scales, you know, are how we're burning our bridges, how we are balancing up our doing and our being, you know, our yin and our yang, our inner masculine and our inner feminine. You know, are we are we judging ourselves based on how much we achieve? Or are we um, giving ourselves and giving ourselves permission to just be, just be who you are, to create without it having to have a function um, other than it brings you pleasure or 
um, it creates something beautiful that you can enjoy, which in our very masculine-based um, society maybe doesn't um, doesn't recognise. And so all of us have these kind of unconscious um, evaluations of good and bad, right or wrong, um, and therefore we judge ourselves. So it's really important, although Libra is the judging sign, and it is a point for evaluation and review, we are doing it with detachment and with dispassion. We're trying not to let those emotions get involved, which at this time, 2020, this is the bottleneck. This is the highest pressure, you know, probably many of us have had in our, our lifetime, you know, with lots of different changes and lots of different places in our lives where contraction has happened, which puts this pressure. And although the um, summer has been a little bit of a release, we've been able to get out, we've gone back to doing, gone back to old patterns, and maybe we've forgotten some of the things that we learned when there was the deepest contraction back in the um, first lockdown. So right now, as uh, <laughs> just before we enter Scorpio, and Scorpio is always the most interesting of all the signs, um, it's where the shit really gets stirred up. It's where the muddied waters really start to be seen. It's the deep dive into all those unconscious and subconscious patterns that create all those difficulties in your, um, in your relationships and ultimately those relationships manifest into your world, your life. So right now, as, um, as hard as it is, you need to spend this weekend or this pause, if you're not doing it at this time of year, if this is some point in the future that you are, are looking to take a pause, Set the next two to three days for self-care, to um, ground yourself, to meditate, to connect back to your abstract mind and relink your abstract mind to your rational mind. You know, all this doing, all these emotions, they, they disconnect this connection and we get just into um, rational thought, overthinking, and that's the real... Um, the real test in Libra. From all the overthinking that we're doing, we're not finding the middle path which where our truth is. And in between the two points, we need to make a choice. We need to make one um, line out of this, right? So, often you find people who have lots of Libra in their charts, you know, we're, it's all about kind of people pleasing, you know, like, because Libra is a very um, good to see perspectives from one to another and um, we all are affected by the influence of Libra when the sun is in Libra and this <laughs> you know it happens it, it doesn't have to have the sun in Libra you know we have to be aware when we are becoming indecisive when we are going yeah well there's truth in that and there's truth in that I mean for me it's where I, <laughs> definitely where I am. I'm here, here, here and there. I can see the truth in all sides of the story. But at, there comes a point when um, choice needs to be made. So the question for you is, what is the choice that you have to make going forwards? Can you, over the next three days, give yourself um, self-care? You know, um, time to um, wash. <laughs> always a good one um maybe um walk maybe meditate reconnect the abstract and the rational parts of our our brain so that we simply know instead of overthinking in the rational brain that's going well blah 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 and blah 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 on the other side it actually finds the point of truth that is known for you um self-care um, meditation, walking, uh, yoga nidra, um, what other things, uh, anything that makes you feel peaceful and calm, you know, asking for, uh, if you have kids, asking for um, someone to mind them for an hour or two and give yourself permission to just sit with a cup of tea. No reading, just sitting with yourself not distracting yourself by other thoughts, just simply sitting. Anything that um, is slowing down from this doingness to just a beingness, um, it's always a massive challenge. So 
I will record uh, a meditation um, that you're free to use, um, free to use any time you need to rebalance yourself, recenter yourself in that um, midpoint of, if you like, an equal armed cross. Um, Libra, the balance scales between the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, and the vertical and horizontal lines of um, that um, mother and father aspect. Um, and we're uniting all into the center of um, consciousness and of love and of unity. So I hope you'll join me in the meditation. Um, for now, namaste. Welcome to another uh, meditation with me, Ali Latrobe. So this meditation is inspired by the sign of Libra. And this is the sign of balance and peace, finding the midpoint within um, two sides, within any polarity, and finding our own um, inner way of, um, of knowing how to make the choice. So in my previous video, I um, I put out a message for you all to ask yourself what choice you need to make at the moment. And we all have these choices um, through our lives. This meditation is going to help us reconnect to our, our inner sense of knowingness. So we're going to take our hands and rub them together. And we're going to place one hand and then the other on our hearts. Closing our eyes, letting the face be soft. And just take a big breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. If you're sitting on a chair, let your feet be grounded and flat to the ground. Letting the crown reach up to the sky a little bit and exhale, rooting down through your tailbone. So we're going to start by grounding ourselves through our sits bones. I'm going to establish our grounding cord, which can feel a little bit like roots coming through the base of your, of your spine. With your exhale, grounding down, see if you can find the center of the earth. And inhaling, lifting up through the crown of your head. See if you can create a little antennae. <laughs> and exhale down, back through the grounding cord, ground to the center of the earth, and inhale back up. See if you can make your antennae a little bit taller. It's one-pointed. It's connecting you up to the highest point of light, the infinite source above you. Back down to the grounding cord. Up through the crown of your head. And then settling in your heart space. And into your heart. And there's two sides of your heart. There's this left and the right. And on one side, the blood flows to the lungs. To release, that's what's needed to be released. As you exhale. And as you inhale, draw in all that you need to receive. And on the other side, it distributes through the body. Our masculine and our fe feminine side of our, our heart. And on a spiritual, a deeper level, the um, feminine and the masculine parts of ourselves here in our heart 
are in union, in marriage. So see if you can feel the vibration of your heart as you breathe into your chest space. I'm going to exhale two, three, four, inhale two, three, four, exhale two, three, four, inhale two, three, four, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Pause. Exhale fully. Inhale completely. Pause and look to your third eye. Look inwards and upwards. Exhale. And inhale. Pause and hold the breath in. Look inwards and upwards to your third eye. Exhale fully and completely squeeze the belly in. Inhale and exhale in your own flow, but pausing at the top of the inhale. And your intention is to alive in your, your inner sense of knowing, your intuition, your connection to your ab the abstract well realm of thinking and knowing. <clears throat> this part of the mind which unites the two parts one more round of breath now releasing your hands to your lap take your right hand Take your middle finger and your ring finger to your nose, dropping, sorry, your middle finger and your pointy finger to your nose, brow. And then your ring finger and your little finger to the left side of your nose, your right thumb to your right nostril. Closing off the right nostril, breathe in and out of the left side. Inhaling up to the third eye, brow center, and exhale out the left side. Keep your spine nice and tall. A couple more rounds. Now we're gonna go in the left side, hold the breath in, and change sides. So close the left nostril, open the right, exhale out the right nostril. Inhale the right nostril, pause and hold the breath in, swap over, exhale out the left side. Inhale the left side, pause and hold, exhale out the right side. Inhale through the right, pause and hold, swap sides, exhale out the left side. In your own flow, keep going. Keep going. When your mind distracts you, come back to watching your breath. In through one side of the nostril, pause at the top. Focus inwards and upwards. Exhale, let go of what you don't need. Inhale, draw in what you do. Two more rounds. Exhale fully and completely. Inhale fully and completely and pause. When you next exhale out the left side, release, eyes still close, inhale through both nostrils and up to the triangle point at the point of your brow center. Exhale out both nostrils. Inhale to the brow center. Exhale out the, brow, out the nostrils. And now at this point, ask 
your question. What's the choice you need to make? Maybe place your hands to your heart and listen for a response. What are you having to choose between? Is there a middle point? Or is there a true side for you? It doesn't negate from the other side. See this polaris dance of polarities is what real marriage is. We, we try to um, represent it in, in our um, on earth marriage certificates, you know, and marriage is really challenge, challenging. Ultimately, the two sides need to be balanced without negating or rejecting the other. Neither is, is wrong, they just are on a polarity. But each individual has their own truth, their own way of seeing the world and their own place from which to act as best they can at their present moment in time. And real marriage has nothing to do with um, genitalia. Real marriage has only to do with love. love and unity and in your own knowingness of where your choice needs to be made representing that both sides of the spectrum are equally true and here we know that everyone is doing their best and we send love to all those in our lives, all those relationships, our own in, inner relationship and those with others. And to the world itself, wishing unity and love may be the driving force for the next system that we create on earth. Knowing what you have to know, feeling what you have to feel, and being all that you are. Namaste.